We're looking for things to do with the kids this summer. There is a ton to try downtown in Baltimore, but you know heading into the city can be a pain, especially when it comes to parking. Nobody wants to face off against the meter made and lose. So ABC 2 News, Josie Sturman is working for you tonight with details on a new tool to help you park smarter and potentially beat the odds when you're parking in the city. There we go. You won't find any casinos along the avenue in Hamden, but plenty of people are still gambling. Well, I guess it is gambling. <laughs> uh, I don't really think of it like that. But that's exactly what's happening. At the parking spots along this busy street, people risk a ticket by putting nothing in the meter. I've paid the price before and I'm still gambling. This lady isn't the only one. On a sunny morning, we watched for hours as people popped into common ground for a quick coffee without putting a dime into the machine. I can't tell you how many times at the coffee shop we'll be sitting around and someone will come in and yell, meter maid, and like everybody comes pouring out to put money in their meters. But when you're hedging your bets against the house, in this case City Hall, the odds are pretty good you'll lose, especially on a street like this. Yeah. Got a high risk here. Consider Shea Frederick and James Schaefer Baltimore odds makers. With the click of a button, they can tell you with pretty good certainty who's going to win if you decide to take on public enemy number one, the meter maid. She's my nemesis. She 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 watches me and then she pounces. But these guys aren't guessing about where you'll pay. They've actually crunched the numbers. Whenever they pull up somewhere, they can find out whether they're gonna be, you know, the easy pickings. Parking odds spit out for you space by space around the city. It comes from the city's open data initiative. They simply plugged it in to create a website and a phone app. They call it Spot Agent, and all you have to do is tell it where you plan to plunk your quarter. It gives you a threat rating based on location and time, and even tells you how many tickets have been given out there. The goal is just finding smarter uh, places to park. Frederick found them putting 96,000 tickets into a database. That helped his company plot parking tickets all over the city, and it turned up trends. In Baltimore, tickets spike on Fridays and in the first and last 15 minutes when parking is enforced. And it turns out those meter maids get tired from all that ticket writing around lunch. So your odds of beating them are better around noon. Just watch out, because when they walk out of the restaurant, they're going to... And if you're rolling through 36th Street in Hamden and this local coffee shop, remember the house always wins. They've won big here. City Hall has hauled in cash from 1,600 tickets in four years here, many for failing to feed the meter while you sneak in for a cup of coffee. At 32 bucks a ticket, if you gamble and lose, that's one pricey cup of Joe. But you'll still be a gambling woman? Maybe. <laughs> Right now, there's only one problem with the spot agent plan. These guys used open data from the city to plot all of these parking tickets, but that data hasn't been updated since March. We called and emailed the Mayor's Office of Information Technology, but so far we've had no response about why the information isn't current or when you should expect an update. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News. Now, only for Baltimore City, although they hope to expand out to other places, and you can get it for free if you've got an Android phone. It's hopefully coming to iTunes in the next couple of weeks. We'll have a link to it on our website at abc2news.com. Kelly?